We're at the state capitol for our first ever legislative breakfast. We're excited to be here. Yeah. Welcome to the Envision Utah Breakfast. I'm President Wayne Niederhauser, President of the Senate. I just want to go ahead and get us started this morning. I've been involved with the Envision Utah now for a couple of years. It's a group of people that have gotten together in a very um, futuristic way to plan for the growth that are, that's inevitable here in Utah along the Wasatch Front. We have some unique dynamics. Utah is a big state, but a lot of it uh, with uh, limited water resources and, and the Wasatch Front being such a, a small part of the land, we're a very densely populated state with regards to where our population is uh, located. And that requires us to do a lot of planning uh, forward thinking. Uh, how is growth going to affect us? Because we welcome growth here in Utah, but growth is going to be a big issue for us. How are we going to be able to afford all the transportation systems, roads, transit? Uh, how are we going to deal with air quality? Big issue that we're facing here in the state. Uh, we've made a lot of progress in air quality, um, but you know, how do you deal with inversions? And and yes. Uh, we admit that the legislature can't outlaw an inversion. It, that is natural law, and consequently, we have to deal with the uh, with that natural law and what, how it's best uh, how best to uh, create a an environment for uh, less emissions and cleaner air for our population in the winter months and sometimes in the summer when we have high pressure here. So. Those are some big issues that are, are facing our state. And yes, uh, let's not be reactive. Let's look down the road. <clears throat> What's going to work 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now? I mention often in the legislature how frustrated I've been over the last six years voting on a, an education bill or a transportation bill, uh, not so much transportation because there's been a lot of forward thinking on that, but just different uh, bills and I have no context. Where we're headed with, where are we headed with this? Let's take some time, I'm hoping, to at least steer the legislature even five degrees more this way because legislatures across the country and historically by nature are reactive. They kick the can down the road um, and, and until it's almost too late then they respond. And I think Congress is a great, great example of that and, and we do a pretty good job here but we are also reactive. And so let's get the context of where we're going. Let's figure out what we want Utah to look like, our education system, um, our communities. 10, 20, 30, maybe even 40 years from now, uh, and then create the legislation and the policy that's going to get us there and not deal with policy that's distractive. Because I think oftentimes we are, as a legislature, passing things that distract from, from where we're going just because we don't have the content context. It's good, intent, good intended, I mean the intentions are good, but uh, we need to have a vision of, of where we're going. And it, and it started right with the pioneers uh, when they came here. They just didn't willy-nilly, uh, wherever the horse went, that was where the new road was. <laughs> they laid out a, a grid. And, and like it or not, that was, that was planning for that, that day. And it actually has served us, I think, pretty well over the years and it was it was a vision it was a planning of how uh, the communities would work and I think they tried to keep things small within the city and then the farmland was outside of that that was kind of the plan and 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 that was um, and that's I think part of our culture it's been our culture since 1847 and so I I really applaud what Envision Utah does to look forward 
and to give us some context of where we're going and what we need to do. And, and I hope that we'll engage with them in uh, looking at how we can deal with the growth that's inevitable uh, for our state. Um, education's an important part of that, air quality, and just some, uh, some good planning uh, so that we're not having to spend more money than we need to on infrastructure. If we just let the, if like my example of the pioneers, just we just let the the cows determine where our roads are, we're going to end up spending much more money and taxpayer resources on roads and infrastructure, sewer systems uh, than we need to. If we're, we're smart about this, uh, we can create uh, an environment that people want giving them options, and yet uh, minimizing our costs on infrastructure. And uh, so, I, I again, I applaud what, uh, what Envision Utah is doing. Robert Groves now, our executive director, um, back for a second uh, a trip through, uh, uh, through this process, and we appreciate him. He's got a lot of knowledge, and and uh, look forward to working with him in the future and, and the board and some of the things that we need to look at going forward.